Mount Halcon. This majestic mountain has been off limits to hikers since 2006. Last year, murmurs begun that Mount Halcon can now be climbed again. Their permit was granted barely five days before the climb. This was too short for a notice. The original 22 participants became just nine, all first-timers in Mount Halcon. Hindi pa. The group started around 1 a.m. Travel time from Makati to Bako, Oriental Mindoro typically takes about 4 hours, 2 hours by car and another 2 hours by ferry. They hoped to catch the 4 a.m. ferry, but alas, there was no 4 a.m. ferry but 5 a.m. instead. Compounding their predicament, the ferry took 3 hours rather than 2. They arrived in Kalapan around 8 o'clock. Jeepney ride to Bako took another 30 minutes. The group proceeded to the municipal hall to make a courtesy call and secure the all-important signed permit. Startup track will be from Barangay Mayabi. Josh! Alan was chosen to lead the prayer. He did so for the next three days. The group was finally able to start trek at around 11 a.m., five hours behind the IT. Day one was hot and sunny. As it would turn out, this was their only rain-free day. The group tried to catch up and shorten the gap from their IT. But the lack of sleep from the previous night, coupled with the relentless gradual assault, took its toll. Mam pagod na pagod ka. Ganon? Fresh na fresh mo eh. Pick lang yun. By 5 p.m. or after 6 hours of trekking, the group decided to set camp in one of the emergency campsites. The group started early the following day, hoping to reach the summit before nightfall. The trail, though, became steeper and more difficult than the previous day. It was also starting to get cold as they gained elevation. Around 10 o'clock, the group arrived at Dulangan River. Its clear and cold waters provided a welcome respite. It also started to rain, which it turned out lasted until the last day of trekking. After close to 10 hours of trekking and battling fatigue, non-stop rain, and very cold temperature, the group decided to set camp at Karawayan campsite. The summit is about 2 hours away. On the third day, continuous rain and close to freezing temperature tested their resolve to reach the summit, a good 2 hours away. But the group will not have it any other way. Wow, napakagandang bundok. Halcon. 7.22 a.m. March. 
Having put the joy of reaching the summit behind them, the group now faced the task of going down the mountain safely. The non-stop rain have swelled the streams and waterfalls of Mount Halcon. Suzette in particular had the black eye from the previous day's crossing of the Dulangan River must take extra care in navigating the slippery streams. After 11 hours of trekking, the group reached an impassable Dilangan River, hence they have no other choice but to set camp and wait for the river to subside. The group awoke to a tamer Dilangan River, but they cannot be complacent. Some parts of the river are more than waist deep. surrender. After more than 7 hours of trekking, the group finally reached the end of their trek, thereby completing a deeply satisfying epic climb. Just 
kasalanan mo yan. Wala na pang ihirap to. Pahit na eh. Halkon to eh. Kasama ko pa ang AMC. Halkon kasi eh. Malamig. Loco! Loco! 